What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide. Today we are taking a look at Erling Haaland. This guy is a monster in the game, but it does depend on how you play him lads. There is a very key way to play in Haaland and I'm going to show you why a lot of people struggle with him. So if you are struggling with him, I definitely recommend checking out this uh, tutorial video where we talk about the card, we talk about his strengths and weaknesses because this card is probably one of the most polarizing cards to use and a lot of the top um, division guys and professional players don't use him for a very specific reason. We're going to break that down, right? So everything that you see here, you know, on the surface looks good, right? You've got an 87 version of Haaland overall that you can train up and you can make him into a 96 overall center forward. Fox in the box, we've got 17 levels to train. He's got 90 team play style proficiency. He's got 85 speed, 86 physical contact and 85 finishing with 80 offensive awareness straight off the rip before we even train him. Excellent, right? We're not going to complain too much about that. But when you kind of chip away and look at this card and peel back a couple of layers with him, you'll see why a lot of people don't use him. Straight away, if you've played the game for any length of time, you will notice that balance is a very important stat, right? Especially for midfield players. What's more important than balance, in my opinion? Tight possession. And Haaland his stinks in both of these categories, right? Both of these stats, you can see there that he's got 63 type possession and 54 balance, which is, you know, shocking for the card that it should be. I definitely think that his balance should be at least 70. That would bring it up that if you had 10 points into it, you would have 81 acceleration, you'd have 80 balance, and you would have 90 offensive awareness. And I think that that would be a more kind of like, um, like that card would be insane. Like you're still going to be so tied with Haaland no matter which way you train him up and we're going to show you that in a second right but off the rip you've got heading as a player skill you've got long range shooting acrobatic finishing heel trick first time shot you've also got super sub which is where I think the main strength of Haaland lies is bringing him in off the bench not as him leading your line right is bringing him in 60 minutes gone or maybe 55 minutes gone he gets that super sub boost um, and then he comes in and he's just able to get into really good positions right but when we look at Haaland over here on eFootball DB, lads, you're going to notice straight away the difference between him and, you know, somebody like Romario or Michael Owen or somebody that is just world class in the game that's able to win you games because they're able to dart in and dart out and do one touch passing up the pitch and get into really nice kind of like um, areas of the pitch where they're able to punish your opponents, right? Because the main way of scoring in eFootball 23 is to kind of like confuse your opponent or else make their them not be able to react to what you're doing and to respond to what you're doing going forward so that they're not able to set their defense right, okay? So when we look at Haaland here, he's only got 17 levels to go. We have looked at in the player review that we did, if you want to check that out, we have looked at the Showtime version of Haaland, which has 24 levels to go, but is actually a worse card apart from his finishing, right? It's a worse card apart from his finishing and his balance and also the... Uh, physical contact but other than that it's a worse card even though they're both 87 and 86 overall right so this Haaland is 87 overall with 17 uh, player levels this Showtime one uh, is 24 levels but it's actually a worse card right now the thing is this card has got phenomenal finishing and this card doesn't so that's something that you need to keep in mind they both have super sub though so that's also probably the main area that you want to be focusing on right but in this version of him when we train him up we're going to be focusing on a version of Haaland that has very little kind of stamina, is going to be brought on into the second half of the game, as I said, as a, just a kind of pure shoot on target, you're not going to be dribbling or running with him, you're not going to be touching and going with him, you're literally going to be getting onto the end of corners, the end of crosses, volleys, first time shots, literally playing him straight up, you're not going to be messing around too much with him, you've got the strength um, of speed, acceleration, kick and power, jump and physical contact, all in the 80s. You've also got 89 offensive awareness for his AI runs and 93 finishing. So if you can't finish with 93 finishing, then there's something wrong. I mean, that is more than enough. 88 is more than enough to finish with. But I do think with that acrobatic finishing, long range shooting, heading, chip shot control and first time shot, the minute you get the ball at Haaland's feet, you're ju you should just be shooting with this version of the card, right? Because the big problem with Haaland is, even if you max out his dexterity and you focus on nothing else as we see here, you get a 93 overall version of Haaland with 14 points put into dexterity, you still only get 68 balance, right? That is a huge problem for this card. If we do it to dribbling to get his tight possession up, we only get 77 tight possession. So that's a huge problem and 80 ball control. That's a huge problem that we're not going to be able to solve unless we had another, another maybe 
I don't know, 10 levels to train Haaland, right? You're not going to be able to solve that issue with this card. It's about picking your poison and using Haaland as a very, very straight up. He can't do it all, right? This isn't real life. He's not the Terminator in this game. His balance and his tight possession absolutely kill this card if you are used to playing with smaller, more versatile centre forwards like Romario, like Mbappe, that's able to get the ball, that's able to finish aerial battles, that's able to do it all really um, in different formations. So this, I think, is the best version of Haaland, right? You are making a couple of concessions with it. We pop three into shooting, we pop four into lower body to bring the stamina and the speed up, but more importantly, we're looking to bring that kick and power up to 90. That's why we boost up the lower body strength. And I do like the way they've balanced the stats to kind of lift up each other, right? Then we're popping 7 into dribbling and 9 into dexterity. 88 is more than enough to finish. 89 offensive awareness with 90 kick and power and 89 speed is very, very good card. Even though speed isn't a huge concern, we are looking to get that up as high as we possibly can. And it also helps the stamina and the kick and power. But the big key for this card here is that we have the balance 63 and the tie possession 70 with the, with the 7 points put into dribbling. Because we want to be able to run a little bit with Haaland. We want to get him onto like one touch balls. And he will play a little bit above his stats when you train him this way. In my opinion because of that tight possession. A lot of people will train Haaland with not putting anything into dribbling. They'll probably leave this at like 2. And then they'll probably you know boost up his finishing to 90. And you know they'll probably boost up this to maybe like 81 acceleration and 90 offensive awareness. I think this is probably a problem with this card. Um, because you're trying to make him into something that he's never going to be. He's never going to be an Mbappe. He's never going to be a Romario. He's never going to be a Cruyff, that you can just lob the ball up to him from any position. He'll be able to trap it, run onto it, turn on a dime. It's just not going to happen. So I think Haaland's best ability is bringing him on as a super sub and getting on the end of balls in the box, like literally within the six-yard box. That's what I think. Or else if you're going to be able to, and you're comfortable enough to shoot with stunning shots, shoot a little bit outside the box. So... That is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon in another training guide. Let me know what version you prefer, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.